Hey there, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost, and I thought we'd carry on with our Got a Food Box gift set. It's a boxed journal, and it's going to be a little ephemera pack on the other side, and I thought we'd just move on to the ephemera pack on the other side for simplicity's sake, and moving right along. Um, okay, so the journal was made out of this hanging filed folder. It was an old vintage folder, but you could really use a regular file folder or anything that's a little bit thicker than regular paper or not. You could just double up some paper or triple up some paper and wrap it around and have a soft cover as well or fabric or whatever you like. But um, in the spirit of cohesiveness and unity, I thought I'd bring in the scraps of the leftover pieces of the file folder and see if we can make a little envelope or a pouch or a pocket or something with the remnants because it will color match and you know hey that's awesome okay so it looks more like a set maybe i'll even put a piece of that on here somehow so it denotes what's coming on the inside i don't know we're getting extra fancy there um i do have some ideas to decorate the cover a little bit although i don't want to do much to it because i want the person who receives it to be able to have the fun doing that so I'll just put these ideas over here for now. Put that over there for now. And so I have these pieces of file folder and I thought it would be just dandy fun to make a, a little pouch that goes on the inside here. Um, now, obviously it's too, well, I guess I could just fold it in half. That would be the easiest thing, wouldn't it? It doesn't have to be uh, super tall. I could just use one of these. Hey, that, that would work. Um, what's this? That's shorter, so let's use this one. Okay, so. Okay, so I'm just, if I fold it, yeah, if I easily fold it in half, I'll have plenty of room. Ah, that's going to work. Yeah, let's just do it. All right, here we go. Here comes the big process. Uh, uh, I'm folding it. I'm folding it. All right. I, gotta, I guess I could have spared the extra piece to use as that little accent on the front, but no, no, no. Too late. I already folded it. That's okay. I have this whole other, you know, I have this accessory piece here that I can play with. Okay. Is that hard to see against the black? Probably. Um, okay. So the, basically I'm going to glue here and here to figure out how wide I want it. Uh, so we know it's got to be narrower than that. So that means I got to cut it off a little more this way. So I'm just going to do that on my guillotine cutter right here. So I can get a nice straight cut. It's over here. I know you can't see it, but trust me, it's over here, and I'm over here right now cutting it. Here I go, cutting it. Okay, it's cut. Let's see how I did. I'm back. Yep, it's on the inside. Looks good. Now, a little trick or tip or something like that. If I glue it, the glue is going to take up some space here, so I'll have a narrower pocket. Not the easiest word to say. Um, if I sew it, I'll have more ability to stuff the little monkey because um, I can go right to the edges then. It'll be a wider pocket, and I think that will be to my advantage. So we're just going to do that. I'm going to move all my holy mackerel stuff out of the way. I thought I had a clean desk, but apparently I don't. Adventure. Okay, moving all my stuff, my mail, my extra papers. Yep, here it comes. Everything. There goes some ephemera on the floor. Clearing the deck so I can bring old Sally in here. That's right. My sewing machine's name is now Old Sally. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna call, call this the no, let's call this the top because it has a nice little whoop, has a nice little like folded over edge. So I'm just gonna sew down and across. Don't even know what thread is in the machine, but we're just gonna go with it. Um, okay, now I don't think I folded it exactly right. There's a shocker. Okay, I'll just refold it a little better. Not bad. Okay, good enough. Okay, so where'd we say the top was? Here. So I'm just gonna sew down, and I think actually I'm gonna start here. Okay, I confused you. Okay, this is what it is. I'm gonna sew across and up, and that will seal it in my mind. And I'm gonna do a zigzag stitch. Yeah, in my mind. Okay, here we go. Oh, and we're zigging, and we're zagging. I'm putting that little middle mark on the foot right in the, on the edge of the paper so that I get like one pierce off, one on. And I think that gives me maximum pocketage space inside. That's my mathematical theory going forward. Okay, here we go. We're coming down the home stretch. I probably should have, I didn't do the backward forward thing, did I? No, I should have done that. Maybe I'll put a dab of glue there. I don't know, I'll do something. Let's do it here. 
Okay, well, maybe one more. One more. And now we go backwards. Anchor it in, then we go forwards again, just so it's all anchored off. And let's get, and you, like, you can glue this. There's no reason why you couldn't, but that's just gonna prevent the, I think I better go back in here and sew this backward and forward again. Okay, so let's just do it. All right, we're going on it again. Oh, don't, don't get all bunchy on me. I can see you bunching up. I can see you from here. Your little threading machine thing going all goofy pants on me. Oh, I can see what you're doing. Don't think I can't see, but you're anchored in now. Okay, there we go. Oh, we have extra tails. Get rid of the extra tails. But it should be pretty good. And you can always kind of, if you're unsure, smooch a little glue there. Just a little, you know what I mean? Just to tack those little edges down. Can you see that? Okay. All right. Okay. All right. There we go. All right, just glue those little threads in there. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now we got a little pocket. Okay, let's back up so some you guys can actually see something. Okay, hang on, I'm going to, wait. There, I prevented you from getting seasick. Um, but now we have our little, our little stuffable pocket. How easy was that, right? And you could use an envelope. Let's say you don't have something like this. Just grab a, uh, where is it? An envelope. And you could do it several ways. Like you could glue this together so that, and then just cut it off here and you already have your little U-shaped thing. And there's a lot of things that you can use for, um, these little ideas that we have. Okay, so now I'm gonna run around and collect some ephemera that we can place in here. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. So I brought a collection of things. I brought this one letter. It's from 1898, very old letter. Here's an old postcard from 1917. Came in a little plastic sleeve. I, I wouldn't sooner live in Dan in Hafen because have friends here. Yeah, you heard it here, folks. Okay, it sounds like it's from, like, I feel like it's Danish or something like that. Or, or like, where did Holland? You see the little, the little wooden shoe clog things? Yeah, I think I'm onto something there. Um, I wanted to get a couple black and white photos, too. I think that would be cool. I'm a big black and white. Okay, like this, this is cool. What do I got? I found this old tin. This, these are the old tin photographs. These are really old. I don't know if they're like super old um, because they were, I guess, before regular photographs or I, I don't actually know the details, but they're made of tin. I guess I could look it up. Hang on. Okay, I'm going to be reading this from Dr. Google over here. It says, uh, time period, introduced in 1856. They're called tin type photos. And popular until about 1867, but tintype photo studios were still around in the early 1900s as a novelty. So there you go. And um, what is a tintype photo? It's originally known as ferrotypes or melanotypes. Yeah, and, and um, the photographic emulsion was applied directly to a thin sheet of iron coated with dark lacquer or enamel, which produced a unique positive image. Huh. Well, there you go. Okay, are they worth anything? Well, let's see. Uh, collectors typically will pay between $35 and $350 for a good quality antique tin type in good condition. Tin types are more common photographs of the Victorian era and thus they are not as valuable as Ambro types or Dagger, D-A-G-U-E-R-R-E-O types, which are more rare. I don't know what that is. I have seen the word before. I, I looked it up once before, but, huh. Well, this one, Ambro, I want like amber color. That's an amber color. I'm sure this is worth millions. The one I found, I'm sure it is. Okay, so anyway, there, that's gonna go in there. You know why? Because it'll fit. <laughs> oh, the, the, okay. Okay, so let's, now we can't go taller than this. So this is gonna have to be, let me back up a bit so you can see. Okay. Um, this was folded at one time, so maybe we'll put it back into its merry fold. Oh, yeah, 1898. There, it, that's the way it lived originally. Okay, you're going in there. And you can arrange this to look all pretty and everything. 
Um, I would like to put a lot in here. Let's see how much I can squash in here. Some some all other cool black and white photos. I love these. I love these like mystery. Oh, look at that! A flooded town. Oh, that is cool. That looks like a ghost in that corner, like in that window, looking out. It's a blurry picture, but I don't know. That's a really cool picture. Anything on the back? Nothing. Oh, that is so cool. That's a, that's a flooded town. That's absolutely a flooded town. That is so cool. Okay, that's going in there. What a neat find. So you never know. You never know what you're going to find in the old goose pile. Okay, so these are some 32 spares. Yeah, I have no idea what those are, but we'll put like a little row of those in there. That's kind of cool. Okay, I'll just put you in there. That's kind of cool. Some, some old tickets. I mean, you don't have to put old stuff. You can make all new stuff or just take some paper, like maybe have a piece of just, you know, oh, it's, a, it's an index card. Look at that. If you don't have anything fun and fancy to play with, just, just get a, uh, like a, a rubber stamp or something and just stamp it and make something that they can write a note on, which is kind of cool. All right. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, very nice. Um, so you can t you can make a bunch of things like that very easily, and they're thin and they go into the pocket well. Yeah, and I don't I don't have the fear I'm going to get my stuff all. I'm gonna put more stamps on there. I feel like it needs more. Okay. Do yeah. Oh, I got a song in my head. Don't sing. Don't sing, Pam. I know. I know. I want to sing. No, you can't. YouTube will get upset. Okay, I won't sing. All right, there. Okay, we now have a little border design. Very easy. You can make a billion of these up at any time, and they can write on the back if they want. Oh, there's that postcard I was going to put in there. That'll be fun. That'll fit. Okay, so there's a little extra writing element. Here's the Dane. Is it no Belgian? What? Where is Holland? Holland. Holland postcard. De Dan. I don't know. What's it say here? Dearborn, Michigan. That's where they sent it. Okay. Hmm. No? Was that the time of the earlier war? Not sure. Uh, historians, come forth. Let us know. Okay, there we go. Get that in there. What else do I have in here? I have a collection of very interesting little things that could be all whatnots. Here's an interesting card. The Vogelfeind. These are, um, I think they're German or Austrian uh, animal cards. So I'm going to put one of those in there just for fun. Here's a movie trivia card. Yeah, I, I thought these were really cool. Never seen these before. They're obviously, it was a vintage at some point. Well, no, it is vintage now. It was new at some point. Here is a vocabulary card. I think that's German translation. Um, I'll tuck you in there for a little color. And what else do we have here? Oh, here's a nice little. If I take care of my character, my reputation will take care of itself. Yes, this person needs to hear that for some reason. It's coming to you, somebody. Oh, these are cool. Little um, um, vocabulary cards. These are fun to collect. If you come across these, you can buy these used in certain places. Oh, let me put three of them in there. Okay. Flight, grain, and in vain. There you go. Let them percolate on that for a while. Yeah. Who knows what they're going to do with those. Uh, we've got postage. Oh, here's like a, an alphabet card. That's fun. Oh, here's a big um, flash card. Got to do our math. We may not like it, but we'll do it. Yeah, I know. I know. And here are some postage stamps. Those are always fun. Maybe I'll clip those on the outside. That might be my, even more fun. Yeah, just like paper clip them there. That would be kind of cute. All right, I got it. Oh, here's some tea cards. Oh, look, I have score. Score, what have I got? Oh, saloon, inventions. These tea cards are from England. I actually bought them from England, shipped, shipped them over here. And uh, they're really neat collectors. A lot of people collect these over there. I think they came in the tea. All right, let's give them the old race car. That's kind of cool. Stick that in there. Clip, my, I gotta get a paper clip, hang on. So as you can see, this came together very, very quickly. I think I'm gonna use one of these fancy paper clips because apparently I've gone through all my altered paper clips. Can you believe that? See, that's what happens. You make them and you use them. And it's very good that you make them and you use them because then you can make more. And yeah, there we go, oh, that's cool. All right, so we have that. And I could definitely put more in there. Let's see, is it gonna fit? I gotta make sure everybody fits. Oh, okay, yeah, you fit. Totally, we could, oh yeah, we could stuff that baby to high heaven. Let's keep going. What is this? Here's a uh, leaf sequin. Okay, 
you can, maybe I'll put you there. That's kind of pretty. Okay, just slide it in. Come on, go, go, come on, go for mama. There you go. Okay, what else do we have here? This is one of my original, uh, one of my original self bendles for self when I was just collecting random things. Okay, just open this up, see what we have. Here's a letter from 1946. We have a letter already. Oh, but we don't have this. This is a diary page. Yeah, let's put that in there. That's cool. I'll just, I'll just keep putting stuff in the back. All right, this is this is fun. All right, what else we got? Oh, here's a little. This is a little uh, bag. Yeah, I, I coffee dyed these. They were bright yellow, and I want to knock back the intensity of the yellow glassine. And um, so now it's a little. It's a little. Oh, I, no, I didn't tear it. It's okay. So that means I can tuck you in there. All right. Here's an envelope. I can put that in there. Okay, that's good. Oh, oh yeah. Here's a um, seed packet. Very cool. I'm gonna put that in there and play with. And here is a, an index card thingy, divider thingy, my bob thingy. See, these things are just perfectly fitting in here, and life is grand. Here's some like little, I don't know, coin packs or seed packs or little pouchy packs things. That's kind of fun. They could glue that onto a page and tuck fun things into it. Here's a taller one. I think it'll still work. Let's put that in there. I like those little envelopes. They're nice. Oh, here this. Oh, I don't think it'll fit. No, sorry. Out you go. Oh, here's a, here's a um, alteration tag. Will that fit? Mm, too close. Nope. Um, oh, here's a uh, change of address card. Imagine people would mail those to people. That would be nice, right? Boy, that was ages ago. Here's a, a coffee dyed little um, bag. Oh, here's a library card, catalog card. Very cool. That'll totally fit. Oh, this is this is getting really super awesome now. I'm I'm loving this. I want to sit down and decorate this myself. Oh, here's an Audrey Hepburn playing card. I loved that when I found that in the thrift store. I was like, oh, you're coming home with me, Audrey. You're coming home. Have her peeking over, peeking over. You may have seen me use others like her. Here is I have this collection or had this collection of bartender drink recipes you're going in there this is the italian value italian valium oh that's hilarious otherwise known as a shooter oh i have to ask my italian friend if she knows that name that's a riot um i'm, I'm just looking for something different 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 oh this is pretty look this is a um victorian trade card i believe it says true affection to my love. It might be a card, like a greeting card. Oh, it must be like a, a, it is a card. Oh, oh, oh no. Okay. I was going Mary Glondick from Miss Marish or something. I thought it said Miss March. I don't know. I thought that was interesting, but uh, no, I think it, well, let's see, will it fit? Uh, close. I don't know. Let me see the tester here. Oh, we, we've got some issues. What's going on? This is some things are too tall. We must retreat. Some things are not missing. Okay, we're not fitting. Okay, so you're not fitting. Out you come. Yeah, you can probably stay. You gotta go. You're a problem. All right, back you go. Let's see if you fit now. No, that thing's not gonna fit. I can. Yeah, no, no. Okay, the pretty fan thing got vetoed. Will this fit? This might fit. This cute little. Greeting card from Days Gone By. Oh, it's got a penny in it. How cute is that? That's probably illegal. Um, but there you go. Let's see if that works. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. We're fitting, baby. We're fitting. Oh, I can't even show more. In it. Oh, this is cool. Um, a coaster. This is one of those classic things. Remember from the 60s, 70s, probably? All right. In you go. You're going in there. Oh, here's a nice old letter from 1953 in that parchmenty paper. Let's fold you up and put you in there because you're kind of a cool feeling. They could use this for collage or tuck it into a little pocket or a tuck or something like that. They're just going to have so much fun with this old letter. It is really cool. Um, that would be a neat thing to find. All right, going in, putting you in here. We're in the middle somewhere where you're all safe and sound and won't cause issues. We don't like issues. Okay, what else? We oh, yeah, she can totally fit. We might need to re. Oh, she's already been reinforced. Yeah, it's, she's been around. You know what I mean? She's been taped. 
Okay, so we just leave you as is. Let's see. You're going to go in there? Eh, eh. Oh, come on. You got to get shorter than that. You can't be that tall. Okay, you're going in. It's all right. Okay, good. Phew. Phew. Got Audrey and whatever her name is. What's this? This is Orpha Clinker. Oh, I think this is a grade thing from school. That's cool. And that'll fit. Yeah. And so we go in there. Maybe behind little poly pants there. There's a, what else we got? How about this? 1902 receipt from the U.S. Water Steam Supply Company. Cage bottom valve. Yeah, and postage. Okay, there you go. Yeah, you haven't lived until you handled that stuff. I think it was folded in three. I'm going to honor that and pop it in here. So you can get quite a bit in one of these babies. As you can see, what else we got? Some old writing. Oh, I don't know about that. Oh, there is pretty writing. That's nice. I like that. Arthur Kelly, 1939. Dear Cousin Mildred. Oh, that ought to be interesting. You know he's going to he's gonna straighten her out. Well, let's see. Maybe we'll tuck that in there. I like that. And he has his, he has his stationery all fancy like. He's Mr. Fancy Pants. He, yeah. That's like that cousin you don't want to hear from. You know, it's like, oh, no. <laughs> all right, that's in there. This is a jukebox um, record label. We can pop that in there. That's going to fit nicely. Maybe just behind Audrey. And here is, um, what's that? Oh, that's kind of cute, but no, we don't want to stick that in there. Um, a quarter roll thingy. That's fun. Okay, still stuffing. Still stuffing. I can get quite a bit in here. You just watch me go. Um, here's a slide. What is it? I'm going to hold it up to the light and see. It is, oh, it's a it's a horse on a racetrack. Yep, there you go. The the winner. Oh, I guess I'll put it that way. Okay, and then we have one of these. The milk toppers. I love these things. I think they're so cool to collect for junk journals. Um, so yeah, just oddities. I mean, these are just things I've collected along the way. Craziness. Um, this was some kind of bank paper. Yeah, well, you're going to go in there because you're going to fit. I'm just going to keep shoving stuff in here. Um, the Rochester Tennis Club for a year, 1954. Very good. Mr. Gene Phillips, you live on. Um, now, a big piece like this is probably too big, so maybe I'm going to tear it down so they have some paper, some music paper to play with. We're getting a little to the stuffy side now, so it's getting a little stuffy in there. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I can fold this in threes. Yeah, I can do that. Okay, yeah, it's pretty much the same on either side. Give me some music paper to play with. That's always fun. There we go. And are we breaching yet? Oh, no, we're fine. No, we haven't breached anything. We're not even close to breaching. Oh, they're going to have a lot of fun going through this. Here is some dictionary paper. Oh, hey, what I thought. So we've got some. Uh, oh, this is neat. Um, some kind of blueprint paper. That's cool. Yeah, uh, let's give them, I'm just, I want to give them the whole thing. That's very cool. 1933, Chicago. Hmm. All right. There we go. And what else do we have? What else do we have? Wheeling corrugated ceilings. Something came in the mail in 1906. It did. We are in receipt of your favor. Enclosed remittance for $15, which would have been a lot of money back then. Roofing. They probably got the roof for $15. Yeah. Anybody got to put a roof on? Call this company. Great deals. I'm telling you. Oh, here's an old paper. What's this? 1959. That's cool. Probably some interesting story in here. Oh, yeah. Umatilla. Yeah, very cool. All right, well, I'll pop you in there if I can fit you in there. It's kind of a big paper. Let's maybe take a piece of it. We'll take the top. The Umatilla story. All right, we'll take that. I don't, I'm getting close to maximum threshold here, what I can put in here. But I can still get a few more. Let, let's, uh, okay, let's do the chub test. Here is the official chub test. Go down. Yeah, and let me do the tap, 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 get everybody down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm, mm, no, a little too tall. 
Uh, all right, what are we gonna do with you? Maybe trim the top off a little bit. I think I can do that. Hope this works. In my mind, it works. I don't know if it works, but it, it, I kind of worked. Okay, it's shorter. It's gonna work. Okay, we got this. We're, we're bringing it home. We're stuffing. We're stuffing the little chubber. All right, get in there. I don't wanna tear it or break it. Okay, there right. Tap, tap, tap. Now, test, test for size. Oh yeah, now we're good. Because I still gotta fit the journal in there. So I, I'd say that's pretty good. Well, let's take one more thing and just because we like to overstuff our things. What's this? June 30th, 1924. It's a uh, First National Bank, probably a receipt or something. Something like that. That's got this old stamp on it. That's cool. I think they need that. I feel they need it, and I'm going to add it because it's really cool. Okay, there we go. So they have lots to play with. There should be no complaining. None. I don't want to hear anything. It's good. It's stuffed. So let's see if the, where's the journal go? There it is. Let's see if the, whoop, the journal will fit. I want to do a little bit more to the journal. So probably have one more video on this. And there, there it is little thing and um i think i want to come and finish off these edges with something make it look a little more finished and polished on this edge but what a nice little gift set how cute is that i mean what a nice little gift to give to somebody um a journal and ephemera pack together so there you go fine and dandy oh if i didn't remind you our fabric packs our fabric packs we have we <laughs> sunny and i have fabric packs for sale right now um i still have some left if you're interested. They're in my Etsy shop and they look like this and they come with a triple bonus. You get uh, a letter from the 18, late 1800s slash early 1900s. You get some pieces of vintage newspaper and you get some vintage postage stamps in addition to the 40 plus pieces of fabric. So if you're interested in that, pop on over to my Etsy shop. The link is in my description box down below or um, just, you know, go over to Etsy and try and find the paper outpost if you can find it. Not easy. Um, but there you go. Um, Sunny? No, not present. Let me get him. Okay, let me let me guess. You want to figure he's on the he's on the top? Yeah, right in the white pillow. There he is. Hiding. Hello, Sunny. You like came out of the cooker doing cup dates. I got this, Mom. Don't worry. I got everything covered. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. It's Sunshine. Um, um, okay. So I would like to say that <laughs> you can't tell that story. It's not, it's not. Well, I gotta tell it because it's the truth, Mom. It's what really happened. All right, well, if you insist, you go ahead. Okay, so our really good friend Linda came over, and she gave me a snack, and I got the poops. <laughs> really? Yeah, but I liked it. And I, I will eat more of Linda's snacks if she gives them to me. And don't you tell her to stop, Mom, because you're holding back on the chicken lately. And I just want you to know I am accepting treats from others. Okay? Yeah, you over there, did you hear that? Okay, no, we can't have people sending us treats, okay? Why not? Because you're, you're going to be a fat little um, sunshine. And what's wrong with a fat little sunshine? There's nothing wrong with a fat little sunshine. Sunshine would like to be fat. And then you need to take me to the park and walk it off, Mom. That's what you need to do. Okay, there you heard it from me. Sunshine, pup cub reporter reporting on the snack situation at the paper outpost. For some reason, Mother never has a shortage of snacks for herself, only for sunshine. I, I need to report this to somebody. I don't know who. <laughs> okay. Um, hey, you know, you, you start causing problems here. I might, I might need to replace. What? A re Did you say replace me? Replace sunshine? What? No, okay, I'm not going to replace you. <laughs> you're irreplaceable, little snapper pants. Thank you. I know you're kidding, Mom. <laughs> yes, I am. I'm totally kidding. Um, 
Okay, there you have it, folks. Wait, there's something else. No, I think you've said enough today. But wait, me one more time. No, that's all. Okay. <laughs> oh, Lord. Never a dull moment around here. There you go, folks. Um, so we'll just do a little finalization on this little project on the, in the next video. And we'll be, we will be doing more fun things together. Thank you very much for those of you who hang out here. And welcome to everybody who's new. If you don't know, I have a free monthly emailed newsletter. Um, all you do is sign up. All the links are down below to all my stuff. Um, and um, you get a free digital image that you can use any way you like in your artwork or your junk journaling, things like that. You can print it out at home. You get a note from the bookmaker, which is a little explanation about what a junk journal is and how to use it. I print that out and tuck it in the front of my junk journals. And you get a page list of ideas on how to break a blank page, as well as a seven or eight page list of uh, supplies to keep your eyes open for just ge in general things as you're traversing the world because everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise apparently and um my videos come out mondays wednesdays fridays and saturdays 7 a.m eastern time my podcasts come out tuesdays and thursdays that's new audio material and then on the other days of the week are uploaded a video pad podcast which you can watch on spotify i have an etsy shop where you can find those fabric packs for sale. Um, there's a limited supply. So once they're gone, they're gone. And um, so if you're interested in one, grab it now. And also, uh, but up, but up, but up. Um, I have uh, journals, junk journals and bundles and other kinds of kits when available. They're in my Etsy shop for sale. Sometimes I make announcements about these things. Sometimes I just put them in there. So go take a peek every once in a while if you're interested. I also sell digi kits, which are printable downloads. Um, you know, you think I could find one page here to show you. Do I have even one page? Yeah, here's one. Okay, so uh, something like that. And they come in five pages, all different uh, themes. So if you like flowers or butterflies or dragonflies or Victorian or tea time or whatever have you, um, they come in five different... Um, they're not all this size. Some of them are smaller, but this one just happens to be bigger. Usually there's nine-ish or so, um, anywhere from four to nine-ish on a page. And um, they're very fun to print out at home and use for journal cards, tags, po pockets, tucks, uh, front cover design. That would look pretty on there, wouldn't it? Now we use one of these for on there. That would look nice. Um, and what else? I Oh, if you don't have a printer or don't like to print, I will print 10 of these digi kits out for you. Each kit has five pages, so that would be 50 printed pages on lightweight cardstock, and this is lightweight cardstock, okay, that thickness. And um, um, I also sell fundals, which are collections of old and interesting papers. So if you want uh, something like that, um, there's 100 plus pieces in a fundal, and I can show you that. I'm going to pack it with something like this, okay. And... Um, that's free priority shipping with that. And I have an Amazon shop if you're looking for favorite tools and supplies. I try and put the links to the things that you see me use in the videos over there under favorite tools and supplies. I think I said that. And um, that does help my shop, but you do not pay more for the items for using my links. So thank you very much for all you who use my links. And I have a t-shirt shop. If you like the phrase create with reckless abandon or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise, you can get that on a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, a zip hoodie, a mug, a tote, or a water bottle. You can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook. Come and join our Facebook group doing weekly and monthly challenges. Um, we also are, we also, I'm also very inspired by seeing what you guys make from these video or these video ideas. So that's an awesome place to get some inspiration. And um, most of all, remember that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon, everybody. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.